Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D that will help us automate the process of breaking out sheets. Now if you've used Civil 3D for a while, you're probably already familiar with breaking out the uh, plan and profile or section sheets using the automated sheet tools there. Um, but Civil 3D also has tools that we can break out more of a tiled or a grid type pattern of sheet production construction. So in this example, what we've got is a commercial property and I'd like to, as part of my construction documents, maybe create some sheets to represent uh, my grading throughout the project. And the way that I'd like to do that is to grid this off into multiple sheets so that I can fit a little bit on each one and tile it across the entire project. So what I'd like to do is we'll show you how to do that. Uh, to do it, we're going to use a tool within Civil 3D that's called Map Books. A little bit different than uh, what we do with view frames for uh, plan and profiles and sections, but still very easy for us to work with. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll see how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a template file. The template is going to be the sheet that's going to be used to generate you know, my tiled sheets. So I need to create a couple of viewports. Um, one viewport is going to represent my main view. So I'm going to create this viewport using the mView command and we'll put it, I've got some nodes on the screen here to help me just make this a little bit faster. So we'll go from the node here to the node here. And then my, my map books also support um, the idea of a key map. So we'll hit enter, we'll go back into the mView command and we'll do uh, the node here and here to build this guy. Now, if we were doing plan and profile sheets or sections, there are special properties that we put on the viewports because this is being done through map books. It's a little bit different, so let's take a look at that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my Civil 3D tool space just to free up a little screen real estate here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the map uh, workspace. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And let's go ahead and lock him open for right now just so we can see it. There is a tab here that's called Map Books. And the first thing that we're going to do is we'll, this is where we'll define how these viewports should be utilized in the process of breaking out these sheets. So I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to identify Template Placeholders. When we do that, it brings up a utility for us on the screen, and then we can walk down and identify those different components that make up our sheet. So we'll start with the main viewport. I'll click on Select Placeholders. We'll come over, select my main viewport. That's automatically assigned. The next thing that I'll do is we'll come down and we'll select our key view viewport. The idea of the key view or the key map portion is that I can see my what's represented on each sheet in the context of the entire project. So I, I find that very useful. Always make sure that I set up one of those when I'm doing a, a gridded type of a sheet set. Now there are some other things that we can deal with as well that you can look into maybe on your own for creating legends or adjacent arrow blocks, uh, title block, things like that. Um, we won't necessarily worry about those for this particular uh, example. We'll just deal with the main two. Once those have been established, you notice if we highlight it we can see where they've been attached um, because it'll be uh, lit up in blue for us on the screen. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and close out of there and we'll save this. With that saved, we'll come back to our commercial project. I'll come into Map Books, and then what we're going to do is we'll go up and we'll say New. We want to create a new Map Book. And then we'll select Map Book from the list. We get a wizard on the screen, and we just need to walk down and answer some questions. The first thing is we're uh, going to be creating this using the uh, geometry that exists in Model Space. And I'm just going to give this a name here because I believe it will also be used for my layouts that are uh, built to represent each sheet. So we'll just call it grading for right now. My uh, sheet template, I'm going to go into settings, and then this is where we'll go select that file that we just saved. So in my folder here, that would be this guy. Uh, if there was multiple layouts in there, we would select which layout represented that sheet. So these um, uh, map book type templates can actually store multiple layouts. We've just got one in there. We'll go ahead and select that. Uh, include a title block. There is a title block in there already, which is my uh, title block. That's what will be represented on each sheet. This gets into where I can associate the blocks that would be used for the adjacent sheet links or the uh, map arrows. And then I can set my scale for what, uh, what scale should be used in each viewport. 
So we'll go ahead and set that to 20 for right now. We'll then drop down to tiling scheme. We'll come down to uh, by number. And then what we'll do, rows and columns at 20 scale. I'm going to start with the defaults here, 3 and 3. Um, I don't want any overlap between the sheets, so you have the ability to add overlap if that would be helpful. And the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to pick up in this location here, maybe to start as the upper left-hand corner of my sheets. And then to get an idea of what that looks like, I can come down here and click on Preview Tiles. Now when we do that, it looks like it kind of fills the screen. My spacing's not too bad uh, east to west. But if I uh, come back here and look, let's back up a little bit, notice my uh, gridded sheets takes and disappears. We'll come down, we'll refresh. I can see that three columns is good, but I'm probably going to need a fourth row. Three rows aren't going to be enough, so we'll exit out of there. We'll set it to four rows, preview those tiles, and I like that uh, configuration at this point. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there. We'll then come down, we can take and name those sheets. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, grid sequential. We'll start numbering them in the upper left-hand corner with uh, number one. We're going to increment by one, and it's automatically going to uh, tile those sheets. You'll see there's a number of different ways that we can identify those. Um, we'll come down next, and we'll set up the key map. Now, the key map, because it's going to be giving us a representation of you know, where we are in the overall project, uh, we want maybe a subset of the layers that we can see here or maybe a block or you know linking to another file there's a lot of different ways that we can do it in my particular case I've got some layers in here right now that identify some of the um, more macro geometry I've got my building outline my uh, curb information and my property line so I'll select those layers and then add that so that those will be shown in that viewport for my key map because uh, we're not using a legend I don't need to worry about that it's going to create a sheet set for us whether we need it or not it's not required, we don't have to use it, but it's either going to build a new one or uh, create a new subset to an existing sheet set. Uh, we'll just go ahead and create a new one for now. It will generate the uh, sheets. And the matter of just a couple of seconds, it's, it's automatically built our uh, um, 12 sheets. And we come down to the bottom here and you'll notice my new layout tabs that if I click grading one, grading two, and we start working our way across from sheet to sheet, we not only see that our sheets have been broken out, and uh, we see that our key map is functional. They've got some of the areas that have been identified in our template with fields have autom automatically been populated with respect to scale and sheet number and file name. So um, for the most part, we're, uh, we're done breaking out the sheets, and uh, we're in a position now that we can begin to move on to other things to further um, fill out the information that's required on these different sheets. So. Uh, very, very useful tool. Uh, certainly if we were to go through that process as I have had in the past to break those out manually, it's uh, not as straightforward of a process. It's a lot more involved, takes a lot more time. Here we can come up with the configuration we're looking for and using the Create Map Books tools we can break those out in a matter of just a few seconds. So hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.